I am actually standing on top of the elevator car. The power has been cut off in the mechanical room. The door is locked, so we know it's off. We're going to look at some of the parts on top of the car. This is your cross head or the top part of the car. It's connected to your pistons on either side. That's what raises the car. This is the operator station. Technician can come in and work on the car from up here. He cuts the key on inside the car, gives it power up here, and he can operate the car from up here. Once again, you have your rails up the side of the shaft on either side. You'll notice over here in the corner, that is your elevator door, your trap door to get people out if you have to. Notice that it has a latch on it. Most code requires that the elevator uh, emergency exit be locked from the outside. That's to keep kids and stuff out of the elevator shaft. Up here, again, is our hoistway door switches. And then once again up here are your switches that let the elevator know that the car has reached the floor. It trips these switches right here. It trips them up there to let them know the car has arrived at the landing. Now notice that the elevator hoistway door is on a rail track very much like a bedroom closet door and at the bottom it's simply in a track. So if you pry on the lower half of the door and you're not careful you can literally drop this door down into the shaft. It'll come off that track, it'll come out of this track and you can actually drop or jam the door and then you can't get it open. 